Turkey Plains and RC here operating at 88 miles per hour. I like my new uh, Back to the Future coffee cup. I love that movie. Actually, today at least, I won't be operating at uh, 2.4 gigahertz because I sold my radio. So the good old Tyrannus X9D is on its merry way to uh, to somebody else, another uh, new and happy owner, um, while I uh, pursue another uh, a different radio. Like I said, um, if you've been following my previous videos, I'm still staying with OpenTX. I just want to pick something a little bit different. So, all right, guys, it is a cold one here, and uh, I'm also a little under the weather. I'm a little congested around this time of year. Um, I have horrible, horrible sinus drainage, and uh, it you know it never fails. I usually have to end up you know getting some antibiotics or something to help clear it up. Um, so you know, and it's kind of funny. I'm kind of I'm kind of backwards from everybody else. Most people, you know, have their um, their allergy issues like in the spring when everything's blooming and stuff like that. I get the worst of mine in the winter time, and it just it comes in the form of sinus infections a lot of times. So just bear with me in this video. Uh, as I get through it, so, so, anyways, let's get talking about um, what's been going on. It's been been a few weeks and uh, and all that good stuff. So, like I said, first, you know, I did go ahead and uh, sell my FR Sky uh, Tyrannus X9D Plus radio to another happy owner. Uh, while I'm in the process now of getting a different uh, Open TX radio, the other thing is is that um, actually as of last weekend, I had uh, done something I have never done before uh, in my RC plane stuff here, and that is I went to my first ever swap meet. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of crazy because uh, my RC club that I'm a member of, they do swap meets you know, pretty, pretty frequently. I would almost say once, twice, three times a year they do swap meets, and I've never, never been to one until last week. And, uh, uh, the reason for it, um, is basically this, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about, uh, a club member named Bob. So, what about Bob? Should we ask, uh, Richard Dreyfus or Bill Murray about, what about Bob? Anyway, so a club member named Bob, um, funny story about Bob is that, um, he, he had been a long time member of our club. And, um, you know, was, was truly passionate about what he did, um, and everything. And, and I joined the club probably within about the past five, six years or so. And, uh, I really didn't know him as much, obviously, you know, before that. Um, I, well, actually not at all. So I didn't really, you know, didn't know him during those early days. But, you know, for that, for those, you know, five or six years that I did, uh, you know, see him at the club, and uh, he was usually one that uh, he, he was one of those ones that uh, he was he was kind of, he was up there in age and um, he had some health health problems and stuff and uh, he didn't really fly he just more or less came out to the club and supported them and uh, you know um, offered his two cents to any club decisions and things. So um, now the funny thing about Bob is that uh, you know we we kind of struck up a little bit of a friendship. Actually, because of his wife. His wife, uh, as I later found out, was one of my old grade school teachers. And uh, so um, that's kind of how, how the whole thing started with, with Bob here. And uh, and anyways, um, so that's kind of how our little friendship started. And, um, you know, I think it was at that point, uh, and I, I'll tell you what's funny too, is I think, you know, being a member of social media and stuff, um, I did go through and I, you know, added, of course, old school friends and stuff, old school, old classmates, and um, connected with some of them a little bit, and, and even, of course, adding old school teachers. And I think she was actually part of that. Um, and I, this is before I even knew about the connection with uh, with Bob and everything. So, uh, just totally cool that it was just, it happened to be that way. And so, anyways, um, you know, if, if I had a, question or anything, you know, to go with Bob or something like that, you know, I'd message uh, my old school teacher there and ask, you know, ask a few questions or whatever, and, you know, all that. Well, um, a couple, 
and during, during a couple of the events, uh, like the like our club dinners and stuff like that, Bob was telling me. He says, "Hey, I've got a bunch of old, you know, a bunch of you know stuff, planes, engines, whatever. You ought to come down and check them out." It was one of those things that I was definitely interested in, but at the same time, I was thinking to myself too, like I've got, a, I've already got a, a mountain of stuff. You know what? What can I do with any more stuff, really? And um, and I, I told him I'd like to come down sometime and check it out. But you know, life gets the best of it, and, and it, well, you know, life gets the best of you. And uh, it just never quite materialized. You know, I, I mentioned from time to time, like, oh, I need to make it out there sometime and, and check out some of his stuff and whatever. And again, just never materialized. And it got to a point where Bob's health got so bad that he did eventually pass away. And. And then and go ahead and fast forward to now. This was um, a couple of years ago that he had passed away. And uh, anyways, um, you know, uh, fast forward to now, and his uh, his wife uh, messaged me and says, hey, you need to come down to the swap meet, you know, this coming up weekend. Uh, I'm going to bring a lot of Bob's stuff down. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a try this time. I'm like, so I'd, I kind of, you know, not been going to the swap meets and stuff. Just, you know, things just happen. Just don't get around doing it. So I went ahead and made an appearance of this one. And, uh, uh, got a chance to see uh, my old school teacher, talk with her a little bit, and just about random stuff. And of course, got to see some of Bob's Bob's things. And um, the funny thing is, is that from what I understand, um, what she had, what they had brought, was only just a fraction of Bob's stuff. Um, just to put it into perspective, there was plenty of boxed up, you know, uh, ARFs and RTF models. There was probably three or four balsa kits sitting there. There was um, fully assembled airplanes. Um, there was a table full of uh, what I believe probably are some old nitro engines and maybe maybe some gas engines in there. Just just a whole table full of stuff. And uh, another part of the another part of our, another part of one of the other tables had a bunch of like you know miscellaneous supplies and things like that, push rod stuff and just just the whole nine yards. And again, this was just a fraction of what he had. Um, as I was talking with my old school teacher, she was telling me too about um, they they had actually just found somebody recently to buy Bob's old uh, model train set, and apparently um, it was rather huge. And, you know all this stuff. So it, you know it, it was just amazing to see to see all this. You know, and so again, knowing that I just wasn't really aiming to buy a mountain of more stuff because I've got plenty already anyways I, I still wanted to go ahead and um, you know I, I still wanted to go ahead and, and you know get a little something from them uh, because of you know because of that you know friendship relationship there and uh, you know just you know knowing basically that Bob was just a you know, just a great guy and uh, you know one heck of a passionate RC hobbyist you know with, with, with model airplanes and, and trains and stuff like that so uh, I, uh, took the plunge and actually picked up, uh, at least a little piece of what he had. So, let me show you guys what that is. Alright, so here it is, guys. This is what I picked up. This is a, uh, Premier, that's the model, or, or manufacturer of it, uh, Tiger Moth, uh, Balsa Kit. A box full of Balsa parts, Balsa pieces, and miscellaneous supplies and things to put to put that guy right there together, uh, minus covering and, and decorations and all that kind of stuff. So this is to build the basic structure of this airplane, and uh, pretty good size one too, um, 66 inch wingspan. So um, pretty uh, pretty excited about uh, tackling another balsa kit, um, and uh, seeing what I can do with it. Now with balsa kits. Uh, at least from from my, from my brief experience, uh, I've still got the Cloud Ranger uh, to you know finish up there as well. Uh, balsa kits are a little bit of a struggle because um, even though you kind of go into this thinking like, hey, let's let's get started with this, let's rock and roll, and you know try and put this in together, it is a long and tedious process, and there's also a very good chance that it's missing something. Like I said, it's a whole bunch of balsa pieces and you know stuff like that, so. You know, you, you get something like this, and you, you run the risk. I mean, even especially secondhand, you run the risk of missing pieces, uh, missing plans, things like that. So it can be a little bit of a struggle at first. So, um, you know, I I understand that going into it. 
Um, if you guys remember when I got the Cloud Ranger, I had to contact the manufacturer because I was missing this piece or that piece or whatever. So uh, with this one, I have no idea of its history. Um, it appears like most everything's in the box. However, I did not see any plans. So um, I have been working to try to get uh, a copy of the plans and print them out and use those. So again, kind of a struggle, but you know, it is what it is, especially given the age of this. I don't even know how old this guy is, but uh, I would say it's a, a pretty old kit, would be my guess. And uh, I, um, if, you, if you know my channel pretty well, you know that I take my sweet time with about anything. So uh, this will be no exception. I will take my sweet time with this. So if you know me and my channel, you know that most of my projects take decades to finish because I just get excited and I get sidetracked. I can't help that. So this is going to be no exception. I'm going to take my sweet time with this. Uh, and we'll just see where it goes and just, um, I mean, if it takes me two, three years to put it together and just take my sweet time with it, I will do that. Uh, not a big deal to me at all. Um, so pretty excited about it. And something that is, uh, very interesting to me and this channel, um, if you look back at my channel, um, you probably will not see any references to biplanes. So... At least not to my knowledge, I don't think I have any biplane stuff out there. Um, unless I flew one on a simulator or something like that. I really have about that much experience with biplanes. Um, so, that in itself is also going to be a struggle too. Um, when I've tackled them on simulators, they were very aerobatic, is what, I'm, what I've kind of picked up from it. But again, in real life, I have never, ever flown one. So... Uh, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of homework to do, basically. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, just glad to introduce this guy to the channel, and basically calling this my tribute to Bob. Basically, my tribute to Bob. Uh, you know, a long time, a very passionate club member uh, of our RC club, and uh, just having a little piece of of, of his passion for the hobby um, here on the channel. And uh, like I said, just taking my sweet time with it. Um, no major rush. Uh, I hope to get it to a point to where it can it can see its first flight. Um, I haven't given it a whole lot of thought as far as future plans, other than the fact that I'm going to go electric with it. I don't want to. I, I think it actually uh, indicates that you can use a nitro glow engine with it, but I I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go full on electric at this point uh, for a model that size. Electric should be okay, and I've known guys that do electric on much bigger models than this, so. Um, I do think this would be a very good electric candidate um, for flying. So, my tribute to Bob, introducing this guy here to the channel, and probably will be around for a long time as I'm working on the progress and getting it completed. Uh, actually, the biggest balsa kit I have put together, um, kind of funny, because my Cloud Ranger, I think it even says, like, huge or massive 40-inch wingspan or something. This guy's even bigger than that, so... <laughs> I, I think it's kind of funny, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, I said anyways. You know, my tribute to Bob. Thank you for being such a uh, a great person, great friend, and a uh, you know truly passionate uh, club member. So yeah, there you have it. That's that's what's uh, coming to the channel, and will probably be just sort of hinted at here and there as I'm putting it together. Uh, might even you know I, I'm very unpredictable in that I might very well just have a a solid two or three videos straight on building it? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what the future holds with it. Um, once I got this, I was actually thinking to myself, too, like, here I was talking about um, uh, revisiting some of my old projects and getting those taken care of, and here I am getting something new. But the, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? It's a brand new year. How about just make it a goal that each year I will pick up something new? Um... I mean, by all means, I don't have intentions, uh, at least at this, at this point, to go to go out and get a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, but I figure once a year, at least get something new, at least one thing, you know, just to kind of mix it up and keep keep the interest up, and then I'll get I'll get bored with stuff. So, you know, that's that's kind of kind of my approach with it. So, still be doing some of the old stuff, but like I said, introducing a little a little something new to the channel as well. So, all right, guys, well that is all for me. I probably need to go take some. Um, some congestion medicine or something to get cleared up a little bit more. Um, and hopefully this will this will clear up before too long. But um, anyways, that is all for me. Well, thank you guys for watching. 
and we'll see you in the next video.